morning from Richmond Park again. That's Richmond Park. A bit later this morning. I'm usually here, well last week I was here at 3, 3 a.m. It was dark, pitch black dark. But this week I've come a little bit later. It's 5.20 I think. I got up at 5 this morning. A couple of Weetabix. Splash of water on the face. On the bike. And I'm out at 20 past, 25 past 5. So, got the daylight today. The sun's up. The sun's been up for half an hour or so, I guess. 4.50, 4.55. It's a early summer Sunday morning, June 22 I think it is, so the summer solstice today or yesterday, one of the two, yesterday or today, longest day in the northern hemisphere, I think it was yesterday, so Now we are on the run up to winter. The nights are closing in. We've had the longest day and we are now working towards the winter. Isn't that a lovely thought? <laughs> so, on my weekly cycle around the park, been thinking about what I can talk to you guys about and here we go look hello 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 <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello and I was thinking about that little voice, that inner voice, that thinks it's the boss, that thinks it's the master, pulling our strings. Other cyclist here, look. More deer. Hello. Hello. That stupid voice. Hello. There we go. Morning. Morning. Beautiful animals. At least you can see them at this time of the day. You know, last week at 3 a.m. it was pitch black in this park. I couldn't see Jack. And I missed all this wonderful wildlife. Waiting just a little while until sun comes up. You get to see all this wonderful activity, the birds, the deer the noise it was so quiet so still last week amazing and that's the reason that I came at that time to grab that stillness um, but it, it's when the world wakes up the wild world wakes up um, at dawn that's a beautiful thing So yeah, the inner voice that somehow has got into its head, it's the boss, it's the master, and it's pulling our strings, that we're, we're the puppet. And I don't have that, no, 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 I don't have that, I've taken that, that back. I'm the master, I pull the strings, me. And the way that I do that is, whenever that little voice starts belly aching, it doesn't want to do this set, come on, let's knock it on the head, I'm tired, I don't want this. I give it more to do, I put it in its place. So in the gym, you know, it, it, it's, it's that, 
that rep, that extra rep, that extra set. No, 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 come on, let's, let's call it a day. Well, no, I'm like, right, right, you little bastard. You're doing five more reps now. Or right, you little bastard. You're doing another set now, another two sets. You know, in the morning when it doesn't want to get up. No, 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 no. Morning. When it doesn't want to get up. No, come on. Let's have another 20 minutes in bed. Let's leave it today. Let's do it tomorrow. Well, tomorrow we get up an hour earlier. We get up half an hour earlier. Whatever it doesn't want, or whatever it tries to force on me, it's going to get it back. Double. Double the load. I'm the master. I pull its strings. It's not the other way around. And I suggest you guys do the same thing. Take back control. You are not your mind. You have a mind. There's a big difference. You are not your mind. The mind is sneaky. It tricks us into thinking that we are our mind and we're not. We have a mind. Take back control. Live the life that you want to live. You're the master. Be who you want to be. Which brings me on to another question or another subject, which is achieving our goals being the person that we want to be. You know, we, we have this, this ideal in our heads, this image of this ideal us in our heads, the life that we, we want to live. Or we should have, or you should have. You should know where it is you want to end up. If you don't know this, then start figuring it out. Be able to see it, see it in your head. You've got to be able to see it in your head. Write it down, know it. Know what that ideal you is, that ideal lifestyle. If you don't, how are you going to work out a way to get there, right? You've got to do that. So when we've done that, you see yourself as the ideal you. You've got to become that. You've got to become that. You're not that, right? You're not that. When you have all the goals achieved and you're in that position that you want to be in in the future, you're not going to be the person you are now. You're going to be a different person. You're not going to be this person. If you were, you'd be there now, right? You'd be in that position now. You're not. <laughs> so you'll be a different person. And you've got to somehow work out a way to be that person, to bring about that lifestyle. So take on the traits, the behaviours of that person you'll be when you have those goals achieved. You know, working out who is that person, write it down. Who is that person? What does he do? How does he feel? How does he act? You know, style it on a mentor, style it on uh, an idol, somebody you, you respect, somebody who is in, the, in that position right now. And start taking on those traits, those behaviors. You know, I mean, if you're a guy who's achieved everything you, you, uh, you want to achieve, you're probably a risk taker, right? You're probably somebody who acts in spite of fear, that isn't held back by fear. Somebody who possibly embraces fear, embraces being uncomfortable, because when they're uncomfortable, or when you're uncomfortable, you know that you're pushing, you're pushing forward, you're advancing, you're growing, you're out of your comfort zone, and that's where growth happens. So, 
you know this is going to be the person you'll be when you're in that position. So start doing that now. Start doing things that are uncomfortable now. Start pushing out of your comfort zone now. Start embracing fear. Start doing things that make you fearful. Take on these behaviours. Take on these traits. Create these habits in yourself now. Become that person. I mean, this is pretty much what I did, actually. I mean, I didn't wait for the conditions and circumstances of that lifestyle to show. I just took on the characteristics and behaviours of the person I knew that I would be. Excuse me. Oh. Too many Weetabix. Get them too fast. Um, yeah, I took on those characteristics, took on those behaviours and became that person. And then magically, through the magic of the universe, uh, of God, source energy, whatever, I mean, I don't know. Nobody really knows. The conditions show themselves. They appear <laughs> to, to match your, your new conception, your your new belief. The external environment, if you like, another way to put it, the external environment changes to match your new you, if, that's, if that makes sense. I think it does. So you change the you and the external environment changes. Yeah, rather than trying to change the external environment while staying the same person and not changing you. Yeah, that's it. So, those are my thoughts for the day. Um, as I cruise around Richmond Park. Oh, See, I mean, just doing this on a weekly basis, you know, without fail now, it's a habit. Crack of dawn, on my bike. Lap of Richmond Park, whether I feel like doing it, tired, no matter what the weather is, I do it. Because I'm a person that does. You know, I, I, I do. I do what I say I'm going to do. I get things done. Um, that's the kind of person I am. <laughs> you know, I go to the gym every morning on my bike. Have a workout three days a week. Two days a week I get in the pool. Swim half a mile each session. I've just created the habit of doing that now and it's it's it's... It's, it's now um, my behaviour, my, my character, it's who I am now. I just take action. So, I hope you get some value from that. I hope, you, hope you've listened this far. <laughs> I've, I've probably gone on for a while, but I think there's some value in that. It certainly worked for me. I know a lot of successful people figure that out and work that same way. So, there you go. Go forth and be your ideal. Make it happen. Let's talk again soon.